the total opposite system to California, New Zealand. What happened in New Zealand? Is the same like California? They have environmental issues. I'm going to tell you some of these nice stories I enjoy. Always in my talks, everywhere, all over the world, I said the New Zealand are liars. They said that they are green guys. They are not green guys. They are totally polluted. And I, the life gave me the possibility to say this in Lincoln University in New Zealand last year. It was a meeting like this <coughs> with professors. I said, you are liars. You said that you are green and you are not. And I have the papers to show them. Most of these papers are coming from New Zealand. But anyway, let me see how New Zealand evolved. You see the trends in New Zealand, same time, same number, it's almost the same. It's almost the same. The, the only difference is how we grow in California, feeding more corn, more corn, we intensify concentrating the diet with corn, basically. How the New Zealand people did this crazy intensification process? More fertilizer, more fertilizer. We put more NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, more and more, and we push the pasture to produce more and more, and we put more cows, more cows, more cows. But in some moment, the efficiency of the nutrient utilization coming from the fertilizer is going down. I mean, the, the pasture level increase, but most of the nutrients, they go down and finish in the underground water, the rivers, and we pollute the ocean. This is what happened today in New Zealand. They are, they, I was with the professor of animal nutrition in Lincoln University, seeing a river, a dead river, dead, totally dead. I, I love fishing trout. This is my passion. No more trout. A dead river. Why? Because the nutrients coming from the pollution problem they increase the organic matter in the river, and it's a process that we call eutrophication. It's, a, it's an enrichment of organic components in the water, and uh, it's a fermentation process with algae, and then these algae grow on the top of the river. You must see, you should see in your life, lakes or ponds with uh, these uh, green stuff on the top, and then the light from the sun cannot come in, and this is the moment when everything is changing, and the light is, we lose the light. Anyway, this was the process in New Zealand. They are, up, up, they are applying today, you can see these cows, the production, and the number of cows per farm, they are changing. They are changed now. They are applying very strong environmental regulation. And this is when we compare Argentina, New Zealand, and California. You see uh, the green one is California with the, the milk production going down in 2007. Uh, the same for New Zealand, the, the red one, and also in the last five, four years, it was a stabilization of the milk production because of environmental problems. And in Argentina, we have very bad politicians. We don't have environment, we have also environmental issues. But the main problem in Argentina is not pollution. Our pollution are the politicians. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here, in 2001, you can see the milk production, how went down. And we never come back to the same growing rate that we have very similar to New Zealand. This is when we decided to leave the country. Um, the question is why farmers intensify? 
And the answer is simple. The answers are simple because they try to reduce the cost. There is a very huge problem related with commodity prices, high prices of energy and feed. And we have also a problem, a uh, huge problem related with price volatility, especially commodities. And in California, we have an increment, a permanent increment of the land price and a competition with other crops and also with urban areas. The, the cities are, are going to the farmers. It's incredible. We have the global food demand and now we have the environmental concern. The question, is milk sustainable? And in 2009, um, there was a PhD thesis at the University of Cornell. <coughs> Very nice. There was a girl, and she did this, uh, these numbers. She compared how much milk we were producing in, in in 1944, and how much milk we were producing in 2007. In 1944, we were producing 60 pounds of milk, about 30 kilograms, 28 kilograms of milk, with four cows, with four diets, and with four poopoos. <laughs> and in 2007, the same amount of milk with one cow, with one ration, and with one poo, -poo. And she did the following numbers. He said, well, now in the United States, we are producing almost 60% more milk with 64% fewer cows. And then she did this number. She did the carbon footprint per gallon of milk. One gallon of milk is, is almost four kilograms. And she said, <coughs> today we have a reduction of two thirds of uh, carbon footprint comparing 1944 per kilogram of milk production, per unit of milk production. That means if we are more efficient in terms of productivity, we can dramatically reduce the pollution problems per unit of milk production. 